Assalamualaikum and very good day I bid to Medan Ratna and Dr. Nabil. My name is Muhammad Rushadi bin Kamal Zailan and today I would like to present my final year project. My research title is Factors Influencing the Addiction of Online Games and Their Impacts on Academic Performance Among Malaysian Adults. Okay, first of all, the background of study. According to Verishio 2017, in recent years, computer games have become a very popular recreational activity among children and adolescents. Zul Kamal and Wok 2020 also state that there are more than 2 billion people enjoy their spare time playing video games. And last one is the existence of internet has totally bring a lot of changes, especially the way how a person lives. As you can see in the right, these are the example of online games. Next is for my problem statement. The first one is an examination of internet user behavior reveals that many students are addicted to the internet according to Masud et al. 2016. Next, internet enables users to play video games affecting daily life, personal relationships and jobs. And the last one is the student's conviction that no amount of time spent playing is enough and that the, the time spent playing creates a desire to continue playing a video game until any level, incentive or function is achieved. Thus, this research aims to examine the factors influencing online games addiction and their impacts toward academic performance among Malaysian adults. Now, for the, for the research question, the first one is, what are the factors that lead Malaysian adults to be addicted to online games? The second one is what are the effects of online games addiction towards academic performance. And the last one is what are the possible solutions that universities have to solve the problems of online games addiction. For my research objective, the first objective is to identify the factors that lead Malaysian adults to be addicted to online games. Uh, the second one is to examine the effects of online games addiction towards academic performance. And the last one is to determine the possible solution that universities have to solve the problems of online games addiction. Now I will talk about the scope of the study. The first one is to study the effects of online games addiction brings to the academic performance among Malaysian adults and students. The next one is the targeted respondents are mostly students that have personal phones, students that have own PC and also students in Malaysian's universities that actively involved in playing online games. The last one is their perspective is important in order to know how online games have affected their academic performance. Now for the next part is my literature review. In my literature review, my dependent variable is low academic performance and high academic performance. For low academic performance, there is a propensity for kids to have poor marks as a result of spending too much time playing online games. The next one is high academic performance. The importance of self-control in order to perform successfully in class which does not have a negative impact on their marks since they know how to restrict themselves. There are only one mediation variable in my research which is online games addiction. The majority of college students in the online gaming community had poor sleep quality and the apparent impact of online gaming is the practice of flipping the time of day to night and night to day which causes many students or teens to fall asleep during class. For the independent variable, there are four major factors. The first one is loneliness. It is when you utilize the internet as a guide system and as a choice to abstain from getting lonely. The second one is stress. Whenever confronted with a difficult circumstances in everyday life and unable to deal, some people resort to video games to let themselves out from the reality or even to distract them from facing any problems. The third one is depression. Depression is related to internet gaming addiction and technology addiction. And the last one is perceived enjoyment. Students may choose online gaming merely because they anticipate to feel joy, ecstasy, fun and pleasure. Otherwise, they may have no desire or drive to play. And now for the, my research framework, as you can see, loneliness, stress, depression, and perceived enjoyment is my independent variables and is connected to my mediation variable, which is online games addiction, and my dependent variables, low academic performance and high academic performance. Now for the next part is proposed hypothesis. 
in my research, there are six hypotheses that I can get. The first one is there is a significant relationship between loneliness and to addiction towards online games. The second one is there is a significant relationship between stress and online games addiction. The third one is there is a significant relationship between depression and online games addiction. The fourth one is there is a significant relationship between perceived enjoyment and online games addiction. The fifth one, the fifth one is there is significant relationship between online games addiction and low academic performance. And the last one is there is a significant relationship between online games addiction and high academic performance. The next part is for my research methodology. First one is research design is a structure for data collection and analysis to resolve research concerns and meet research goals. My research methodology is quantitative approaches. My data collection method is using questionnaire that consists two parts, part A and part B. Part A is used, is used for respondents demographic information and part B tests the research model. And I'm using Likert scale from 1 to 5. For demographic analysis, it is used to study the respondent's profile and my descriptive statistic is mean and standard deviation. My data analysis is using smart PLS approach. Uh, the sample size of my respondents is 278 respondents involved. For my data analysis, I use smart PLS uh, to take the measurement model and structural model. So this is my measurement model that I get from my Smart PLS software. All of my loadings uh, from the construct is bigger than 0 0.7. It just shows that the items are significantly loaded on a construct. So this is my table one. The table is for average variance extracted. And according to my table, my values is acceptable because my value is bigger than 0 0.5 and for table 2 is the composite reliability and my value is acceptable because my value is all above than 0 0.7 and it does not violate the convergent validity of my structure. The next table is for the faunal Lacker criterion. The square root of the average variance extraction of each latent construct is bigger than the latent interconstruct correlation with other latent variables in the model. Next, table 4 is my cross loadings of the items that I get from my Smart PLS software. For table 5, it is the for the discriminant validity heterotrade monotrade section. In order to get a good discriminant validity, my value should be lower than 0.9. The measurement items are valid and reliable, so hypothesis testing can be performed. Now for my structural model, table 6 is the coefficient of determination of endogenous constructs, which is R square, and my construct are normal academic performance, online games addiction, and poor academic performance. My R square value for normal academic performance is 0.215. For online games addition is 0 0.759 and for poor academic performance is 0 0.804. And according to the table, my R square value for online games addition and poor academic performance is substan more substantial compared to the normal academic performance. And for the table 7, it is the result of effect size or F square and according to my table, the larger value of F square is at online games addition towards poor academic performance. Next, for table 8 is the indirect effect or the for the mediation factor. I get this value after I did bootstrapping from my Smart PLS software. This is my structural model figure and table 9 is the hypothesis testing for the direct effect. And according to my table, all T values is valid except for the path from perceived enjoyment toward online game addiction. The T value is 1.465, which is, which is lower than the valid value, which is 1.96. And the P value is 0 0.072, which is slightly bigger than the valid value of 0 0.05. Next is for my final hypothesis. The first one is H1, 
loneliness has significant positive impacts towards online games addiction and this hypothesis is accepted the second one is stress has significant positive impacts towards online games addiction and this hypothesis is also accepted the third one is depression has significant positive impact towards online games addiction and this hypothesis is also accepted the fourth one is perceived enjoyment has a positive significant impact towards online games addiction and this hypothesis is rejected because the t value is is small and the p value is bigger the fifth one is online games addiction has significant impact towards a normal academic performance this hypothesis is accepted and the last one is online games addiction has significant impact towards poor academic performance and this hypothesis is also accepted. Next is the discussion and conclusion. My research objective one is to identify factors that lead nation adults to be addicted to online games. And my findings from my online questionnaire is most of the respondents choose MMOG games. MMOG games require many players to be played. The next one is most of the respondent involves in online games every day and lastly is most of the respondent reported that average playing time of online games is up to 4 hours. My research objective too is to examine the effects of online games addiction towards academic performance. Students that play more online games rather than doing works related to study can reduce the academic performance. And students also often feel restless since they stay up late to play online games. And lastly, my research objective 3, it is to determine the possible solution that universities have to solve the problems of online games editions. Universities can let their lecturers to conduct lectures using online games as a medium to enlighten the learning atmosphere. Guidance counselors may give services to guide and also assist students in resolving typical academic attitude and difficulties. I think that's all from me. Thank you.